Chop is something that we feed our birds. It's delicious and it's nutritious. But you might be wondering, what is chop? Chop is a mixture of different vegetables, which can also include grains and legumes. But chop is a way where you can include a lot of different varieties and the full spectrum of nutrients to make sure that they're getting a healthy diet. And the great thing about chop is that there is no right way or wrong way to make chop and you can customize it to your bird and their needs and what they like to eat. Hi poodle and parrot pals, welcome back to the channel, Sandra and Mia here today. If you're a dog or parrot lover, you've come to the perfect place because I share lots of nutrition info, pet training tips, our adventures, products we like to use, and so much more. So let's talk about chop. I'm going to make a couple of different versions of chop with you guys so that you can see how I change it up every single time to ensure that Mia is getting all the nutrients and different things that her little body needs. There's a really large list of veggies and beans and grains that you can include in your chop. And I'm going to link in the description below my safe and toxic food list for birds. And you can use that list to look through the safe foods and select your veggies and grains and legumes from that list. You are going to want to switch up your ingredients and your veggies with each chop so that your bird gets as much variety as possible. And different colored veggies are going to provide them with different nutrients. As a rough guide, I would aim for 50% vegetables, 40% cooked grains and legumes, and 10% dry ingredients. Just make sure that you never include any foods that are toxic or dangerous for your bird, like avocado, mushrooms, onions, garlic, and things like that. Check out that list in the description below, and then you should be good to go. The first thing that I decide on is the veggies. So I like to choose about two dark leafy green veggies, one or even two orange veggies because those are high in vitamin A and a lot of birds tend to be deficient in vitamin A. Dark leafy vegetables contain so many vitamins. You can count on fiber, vitamins A, C, K, and calcium and all of them. They pack a nutritional punch that is a fantastic way to get a lot into each bite that your bird takes. And orange veggies are a fantastic source of beta carotene, which gets converted in the body to vitamin A. And then I like to choose about three or four other veggies or sprouts or herbs to include in the chop as well. And when it comes to choosing your veggies, you always want to go for organic if possible and as fresh as possible. And if that isn't available to you, then you can check out your local farmer's market for what's in season. Now, once you have all of your veggies and you've chosen them, you also need to thoroughly wash them and make sure that we remove any dirt and all that kind of stuff. If it's not organic, there can be pesticides and things like that. So we wanna make sure that we thoroughly clean them. You can use a simple veggie wash that you can make at home. I tend to just fill up the sink with water and pour in some vinegar and then I put in veggies in there and I let them soak and then all that like film and gunk and stuff comes off. And then I rinse them with a eco-friendly veggie wash and then the veggies are ready to use. So the next ingredient in your chop is going to be grains and legumes. And you want to pick one to two grains and one to two legumes. Grains can include millet, rice, pasta, quinoa, barley, oats, spelt, whole grain pasta. And legumes will include things like chickpeas, lentils, and different types of beans. And all of those need to be cooked as per label directions. Grains are a great source of many nutrients. Many are rich in proteins, B vitamins, minerals like iron, magnesium, and selenium, 
Whole grains are recommended for the most nutrition. Legumes also contain many vitamins, fiber, and are a great source of protein for your bird. Now, if you'd like, you can also include one fruit in your bird's chop, but if you also serve fruit as a snack or a treat, later throughout the day, then you don't need to include it in the chop. I sometimes like to include one fruit for Mia, but I don't always include a fruit. If I do, it's something like an apple or pomegranate. If I'm having fruit, then I'll share a piece with her. So I tend not to give her fruit because it is high in sugar but fruit is also a great source of vitamins and fiber. In the wild, birds do eat lots of fruit, but they need the energy sugar provides them for their long flights through the treetops and all day foraging. In our homes, birds do not move enough to justify feeding a lot of sugary foods. The less fruits that they eat, the more room they will have for veggies. So we've got our veggies, we've got our grains, our legumes, and potentially a fruit. And now you can think about your bird's garnish, and this is something that can be included into the chop, or you could just top it off when you're serving it to them in the morning. So this could include the fruit instead of putting it into the chop. For example, pomegranate or currants are a nice little garnish or you could use herbs. For example, dill is something that Mia really loves when it's included into her chop, but there's a whole list of different herbs you can include. You could also try sprouts. Mia, for example, really loves broccoli sprouts, but there is a whole list of sprouts to also choose from. Or you could also top it off with some dry ingredients like chia or powderized brown flax seeds. Chia seeds are really great because they're high in omega-3s and flax seeds have this really great nutty taste that your bird is going to love. And if your bird likes a drier texture of their chop, then the flax seed is going to help absorb that moisture. Now the next step is going to be cooking. All of your grains and your legumes, your beans, they need to be cooked. Make sure you check the package for all the instructions. Once you've cooked your grains and your legumes, you're gonna wanna make sure that they cool completely before they are added into the chop. And the next part is the fun part, and that's chopping everything up. With small birds, you are best to use a food processor to finely chop the ingredients into small pieces that are more manageable to nibble at for your birds. For any water heavy ingredients, you will also want to use a cheesecloth to squeeze and drain any extra liquid from them before freezing to prevent them from getting freezer burnt and mushy once thawed out. You can also use a strainer. For medium to large birds, it's best to chop the ingredients by hand whenever possible using a chef's knife into the size of chunks preferred for your bird. For smaller ingredients like grains, you don't need to chop those. Once everything is cooked and cooled, then washed, chopped, and drained, you want to mix each batch together into its final mixed variety. And that's it, you've got your delicious chop, so many different versions, depending on which veggies, grains, and nutritious fun ingredients are included. Now let's get into storage, which is the last step of chop for our birds. Now you can make smaller batches, which is what I like to do just so that it's fresh food and I'm not freezing and thawing it out, but freezing and thawing it out is completely fine too. So I like to make a smaller versions of chop where I can leave it in the fridge for three to four days or if I know I'm going to be a little bit busier, I'll make a bigger batch so that I've got some in the Tupperware for the next three to four days, and then I freeze batches in the freezer that can afterwards be thawed out. In small batches, you can use ice cube trays to make small portions and then stick those in the freezer. If you make a bigger batch, then you can use Ziploc bags to portion them out and freeze them out. So now that we've made our chop, I'm going to leave you with a few tips before we go for today's video. And that's make sure that after a few hours, if your bird 
hasn't finished their chop, you toss it away because it's going to spoil and we don't want our birds to have access to spoiled food. Offer chop first thing in the morning. Birds tend to be the hungriest when they first wake up, so try offering chop as their first meal and you'll likely get even the picky eaters munching away. Vary the presentation. You can use different types of garnishes like fruits or chia or flax or sprouts. You can also change up the textures, including some cooked sweet potato and things like that. Have breakfast with your birds. So while they're having their chop, have your breakfast as well. Don't forget to also check out my video on how to get your bird to eat veggies. I share loads of different tips on how you can do that. Another little quick breakfast tip is make yourself a smoothie that you can share with your bird and let them have a little bit of it. So including like water and spinach, blueberries, banana, chia, that would be a healthy smoothie that you can have your bird share with you in the morning. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that cute little bell so you can get notified when we upload new videos. Follow us on Instagram and check out our blog. And I'll see you guys in the next video.